Hi, this is Vegeta Simonsen from Greatest Marketing Agency. Today I want to show you how to do A-B testing with Facebook and Instagram ads. And stay until the end, I have some free I want to give you. So let's jump into it. I'm in my own ad account here. It's for one of my e-commerce stores. And uh, the product that we're advertising is this. It's a pet hair remover. Uh, we can, um, there's a link in the description. You can check it out if you want to see it. Uh, so let me go back to the ad account. Um, I already made a, an A-B test testing two different videos. Um, here I'm in my campaign. So um, we can check the results. It's the two top ones here. Uh, uh, for the last three days. Um, it ran for three days with five dollars each. And um, let's go here to the ad set. Uh, there's video two and video one, and you can see um, the cost per click is uh, four cent for video two and nine cent for video one. So video two was way cheaper, and also the click through rate. How many clicked on to my website it was 2.74% for video 2 and only 1.36% for video 1. So here video 2 wins also. And cost uh, per, per thousand impressions, CPM. It was uh, $1.11 for video 2 and one twenty seven for video 1. So here video 2 wins also. However, the video one had a, um, an add to cart, but uh, Facebook uh, has, uh, can track that um, 100% when people go off, uh, the, off, uh, off the Facebook platform or Instagram platform, uh, then they can track uh, what happens 100% because uh, people with their iOS devices, Apple devices, they can uh, opt out of being tracked. So uh, this may not be completely accurate. Um, I can see that in my e-commerce store though. Um, but anyway, here um, with the CTR and CPC and CPM, uh, it all points to that video 2 was the best and that's why I turned off uh, video 1. Um, and everything else was the same. I didn't make any other changes, only the video. Because when you test, then you should only make one change at a time. Otherwise, you don't know uh, if the result is because of the one thing that you changed or the other thing that you changed. So only make one change at a time. But I want to test now open targeting. So I'm here in the campaign again. And then we go to this one, AB test. Click that. Click get started, make a copy of this ad, remove this out of the way a little bit, next, um, pick a variable to change in the new version of your ad, then I'm going to click custom, you can click creative, audience, placement, uh, but I'll just click custom, then you have all the possibilities, click next. Um, and then you can call it something. My product is called the Fur Buster, so I'll write that and then open targeting. I can always go back and change this uh, the name. And the key metric that we are uh, tracking is the uh, cost per click. That is fine. Uh, you can also have CPM. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm tracking all of it, so. It doesn't matter. Um, then you can set the schedule. I'll just leave it for this from the 7th of September till the 11th because they can always go in and uh, turn it off beforehand. Um, but it does uh, end early if a clear winner is found. So now we click uh, duplicate. So then it's going to duplicate the, the ad that I have already and uh, 
It's gonna be complete, uh, completely the same, but then I'm gonna go in and make just one change so uh, that I can test that. Uh, so this is uh, the copy. So I'm gonna say open targeting. And this is in uh, on the campaign level. So we're not going to change anything here. Just publish. And once it's published, then I can go into um, go and make my changes after that. So close this down. And then I go to the new one. It's, this is a copy and uh, we go to the ad set everything has been copied even the ones that are turned off uh, but that's okay the reason that I'm doing it normally I would uh, just uh, do the A-B test here from the ad set but it wouldn't allow me to do that because I had just turned off uh, the first test and then um, Facebook uh, didn't recognize that it was turned off, so it didn't want. It, it said that uh, the ad was already in a test, so I couldn't make an, a new test. That's why I did it on the campaign level. Um, so here, I mean, I make this change. I open this, click edit. This is the duplicated. Um, the duplicated uh, ad set. Uh, video 2, open targeting. So we're not going to change anything here. Five dollars a day. It's okay. And what I want to change is here, I was uh, using the interest uh, pets before and now I just want to remove that. So there's no interest, everything else is the same. It's all ages, all genders, no, no detailed targeting and uh, it's also worldwide. So let me just click publish and the ad is the same, everything is the same. The only thing I changed was uh, I took away the interest targeting. But of course it depends on what it is that you want to change, but just make one change for uh, each test. Hope it helps. If you have any questions you can comment below and if you want us to do all this for you, well, then we specialize in Facebook and Instagram advertising for coaches and consultants. You can book a call with me and my team to learn more about it. And uh, the free thing I want to give you is a, a Facebook ad template um, for coaches and consultants. If you're running your own Facebook ads, then you can use that to help you uh, to guide you set, to set it up correctly. Uh, there's a link in the description. It's completely free. Go and download that. And also please, please uh, join our free Facebook group, uh, Facebook Advertising for Coaches, Consultants, Entrepreneurs, link in the description, where you can also ask me questions or, and uh, there's a lot of Facebook advertisers in there and uh, you can get help in there also. And don't forget to like, follow and subscribe, share it with your friends and click that little notification bell if you're on YouTube, that way you get notified every time we upload a new video. Take care, bye!